Alright guys, so uh, we're back. I uh, scared the guy away, and off camera I searched uh, the shrine, and I got attacked immediately, which was bad. But um, this is post-commentary, because I'm an idiot and forgot to save uh, the commentary. But uh, down there's some interesting stuff. Uh, actually really cool weapons. If you go that way a little bit, you'll find a dead body. Uh, is there anything down there? No. But... The guy ended up catching up to me, finding me, and attacked me, so we're getting the hell out of here. We we don't need to be here. Uh, essentially what I get in this video is I find two of the shrines, which actually was really important. Uh, we end up getting the uh, Shrine of Daring, which is the temple in Aldrahoon, no, not Aldrahoon, Vivek, and we get the Shrine of Generosity, which is in the pal uh, by the palace in Vivek. And so I was checking um, the chronicles of the ne the niche left and trying to see where that goes. And that goes to the Mage Guild, where there's nobody at it right now. So it's really stupid. In order to complete the Chronicles quest, I have to complete the quest of stealing the... St the Kanto or something, whatever it is, from the Mage Guild. So, to do the book, I have to do the Tonto, which is really stupid, so I have to keep the book on me at all times. And I still have a crap load of clothes, but I, the only things that were really needed were the um, rings. So, in video 75, I think it is, you'll see me selling off all the other clothes. Because I'm not going to need them. But, uh, yeah. So we end up going to, uh... To the two shrines. I end up having to do some water traveling. Uh, around there. Because... I couldn't remember where the boat was and... Blah, blah, blah. But we do get two shrines. At least in this video. I mean, which is... Side questing. Which is good. But... It really didn't, uh make much of a video, especially since I cut out the first seven minutes of this video, which was me just exploring the, uh, the, like, canal works or whatever it is, and yeah, it was bad, because <laughs> the guy ended up catching up to me and killed me, because he jumped in the water, which was not what I was expecting him to do, but it happened, and, uh, I ended up going around this whole thing an entire time not seeing the thing, and then I seeing the boat guy, and then I realized that I'm at a, a level above where the boat would be, because I'm an idiot. I'm really bad at playing games, because I don't, uh, especially since I'm in college, one, I don't get to play them as much as I would like to, and two, uh, with a game as big as Elder Scrolls, I don't really uh, remember what I'm supposed to do, because there's just so many different quests with, like, um, Spyro, Assassin's Creed, it's, you know, linear, do this, do this, do this, this, you can end up doing 800 different things at the same time. Uh, I like that about the game, is just, oh, let me do a bunch of stuff different things I can go for I can play for 40 hours and barely even touch the main quest but with it comes the confusion of like oh crap what am I supposed to do next what am I actually supposed to be doing that way I can avoid doing it but uh yeah so we find the boat guy I just call him the boat guy and I just have him take me to the arena because I'm like I don't know where I'm supposed to be going or and I didn't know which one was like closest to Make it uh, the quick, thing Outlander. oh it's actually a girl interesting so we go to the temple because that's one of the uh, ones that we need and they give us a loading screen for some reason I don't understand but it was a quick loading screen which is which I'm completely cool with for moral wind because more winds loading screens are like two minutes long at times on the um, Xbox. 
I don't know about the, uh, the, 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 the computer version, but it's whatever. And so I was, like, wondering if, yeah, the puzzle canal, which is under the palace, which I did not know. I thought it was just, you know, the canal works and all that stuff. So we ended up figuring that out, which is always good. I'm happy for that. And so we're at the temple. And so there's the Hall of Justice. Again. Not like we haven't been there a bazillion times. And uh, this guy, he sells uh, spells and potions and stuff. Which some of it's actually alright, but then there's quite a few cheap ones. But like, the spells? Pretty useful. Cure poison? Which is very nice. I end up buying, like, the really cheap ones. Like, Mother's Kiss, 41 gold. Healed 10 to 20 points of health. Bought it. And then, I bought the uh, cheap one. And I have no idea what the... What his intervention is. And so I just didn't do it. Vivekai Fane. And so, yeah, I'm, like, asking people, Hey, where's the shrine? But there's, like, no shrine... Um... Option? And, uh, Drasikar is, Drosikar, whatever, is another quest that we have in Vivek. And so, here's the shrine, and the shrine's power. Oh, God, I could not believe what it was. It was awesome. Shrine to stop the moon. Yes. Donate a potion of rising force. And I'm like, do I have one? <laughs> I don't even know what rising forces do, so... Yeah, like, bargain force, rising force potion. So, yeah, give. The grace of daring. Thank you for your daring, Lord Vivek. I shall not shun risk or hide behind the mask of cure cautious counsel, for fortune favors the bold. And so I was, like, trying to figure out what is the power-up that we get in, like, the top left-hand corner. And I'm like, I don't understand. What is it? And it's levitate. Oh, it's awesome. Levitate is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, like, if I had the original recording, you would have been like, oh! You would have heard, oh, I'm flying! It's awesome! But, it's whatever. And then, <laughs> I find the other shrine. The Shrine of Palace. Which is pretty useful. And like, 100 gold, whatever. The Grace of Generosity. Thank you for your generosity, Lord Vivek. I shall neither hoard or steal, nor encounter myself with profitless treasures, but shall share freely among house and hearth. Which gave us Fortify Luck and fortify mercantile just to get uh, more yeah so like our skills went up 10 points for each which is awesome because 20 mercantile is you know good mercantile and so since it's a trapped door traps don't have like lock level things on them so I mean journeyman's probe why not it helps increase security so we do this for a little bit And there we go. And it's a lock level 100, so that's not going to happen for a long time. We're not going to get the uh, shrine quests done for a very long time. Look at that. We can just go up high. It's awesome. And I was, like, searching around to see if there would be a door, like, on the side. Like a hidden door that you wouldn't normally be able to get to or something. There wasn't, but I thought I would check just because. But yeah, just flying around, being awesome, carrying a spear. And I thought there might be one under here, so I tried, but then I couldn't get through. <laughs> ah, but yeah, levitation is such a good ability. I'm so happy that uh, one of the shrines gave it to us. And it's awesome, because I'm just like, oh, let's go around here without having to swim. Whee! Is there a door here? No. Okay. And then, like, I could even check underwater without having to go underwater. So it's awesome. And, you know, just checking around. Because, you know, why not? With flying, you should check everything. Which is awesome. Uh, but, yeah, essentially, that's all we got done in this video. Is just flew, ar <laughs> flew around and got the two shrines. So... Yeah, like, you could go really high. Like, there was, yeah, like, a couple times I looked right up at the sun, which was really weird. 
And I was like, huh, maybe there's something here. But there isn't. Because there never is. I can never find anything. <laughs> so yeah, that's the palace. We're not going to get in there for a very, very long time. And so I like, uh, so we go talk to this guy and sell some uh, potions that I don't need. And the mercantile works great for it. So like, we sell quite a bit of stuff that I don't need. Like, uh, I have invisibility for some reason. I don't need invisibility because I have that power. And so, I'm just looking around. I don't even know what it, uh, Rising Force does, so I think I sell one of those. And the Restore Fatigues are useful. I'm keeping those. So yeah, like, Water Breathing, I don't need. I do like how some of the potions weigh nothing. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, what else? I don't remember. Yeah, exclusive invisibility. Why do I need that when I have the moon shadow power? So, like, eventually, I, when we get, like, the magic and whatnot up really nice and the willpower and all that, I'm not going to need potions because it's just going to be, oh, look, I have magic and I can do all of this and just have a crap load of spells. I'm like, look, I asked for 206 automatic cell. Which is pretty sweet. And it was awesome. But yeah, and then there's this. It's like, oh, that's cool. And then there's that floating thing, which we explore in the next video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye, guys.